Hey, I'm Kobe Ravindran, and I'm going to tell you about my experience this past summer at the University of Florida. So a little bit about me. I'm a third year computer science student at the University of Central Florida. and I'm expecting to graduate in May of 2020. As far as my hobbies go, academically, I'm interested in many subfields of AI, including deep learning and classical AI, with a focus on computer vision. But outside of academics and research, I enjoy gaming and making applications for fun. So about the program, uh, this summer I participated in the University of Florida SURF program in the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering. I was a part, I was a part of Dr. Bunia's team along with a few other fellow SURF students and worked closely with Prabhuta, my graduate mentor. Now about my research, unfortunately I can't say too much about it, but I'll give a high level overview of it and what I've been doing. My research project is called Ice-T. And basically, we're developing a new novel image compression method, primarily geared towards aerial and satellite images. Now, for a little bit of background on image compression. Image compression works by eliminating or reducing redundancies in an image in such a way that it doesn't heavily compromise image quality, which results in a smaller file size. And there are many ways to go about doing this, but the general approach that we've taken is to restrict the color space of the image by reducing the number of distinct colors in the image, which is a process known as quantization. Below is an example of what color quantization can do. Uh, the color space is just a fancy word for the range of color values that are present in an image. Once the color space is reduced, the original image will be reconstructed and we'd attempt to replicate the original color space using the smaller one. The end result is, is a compressed image that is mostly indistinguishable from the uncompressed version. So I had two main focuses in this project. My first was to develop an efficient method for predicting the number and spray patterns of points on an input image. Uh, the other one was to improve the dequantization method. So unlike quantization, which I explained previously, dequantization expands the color space of an image. In our case, we had to find a way to reassign colors to groups of pixels in such a way that the reconstructed image was close in appearance to the original image. In the near future, I plan on undertaking more products similar to the one I did this summer. It got me even more interested in image and signal processing, and it complements my already existing interest in computer vision. I'll be applying to UF for the fall of 2020, but I'm still on the fence about going to industry versus graduate school. If I do decide to go to grad school, one of my dream jobs after getting my PhD is to be a deep learning researcher at companies like NVIDIA or DeepMind. Otherwise, if I choose the industry path, I'd like to work as a developer, ideally doing something on the machine learning or data science side. And finally, I'd like to acknowledge everyone that I've interacted with prior to and during SURF. Uh, first off, the University of Florida, for funding SURF and accommodating every single SURF student with regard to stuff like travel expenses, residence, and more. And Dr. Bunia and all the lab members for welcoming us with open arms and treating us how grad students would be treated. Also for taking up all the troubles that we had. Uh, my mentor Prabhuda for guiding me throughout the program and throughout the entire summer also, even though he had an internship of his own and was busy enough already. And finally, Mike, Julissa, and Brittany for making this all possible.